With HTML5 and CSS3 on the rise, we'd like to use it more frequently in our projects. Just a few lines of CSS3 can now take the place of background images, sprites, and complex div structures which aren't semantic. Unfortunately, Microsoft's Internet Explorer 6, 7, and 8 do not have the new CSS3 standards out of the box, which has prevented some people from adopting the new CSS Level 3 rules. In this screencast, we'll show you how you can start taking advantage of three of the new rules in all browsers, including IE 6 through 8. Here is some CSS that makes a menu bar with rounded corners and a background that is a gray gradient. As you can see, Safari, Chrome, and Firefox render it just fine. However, in Internet Explorer 6, 7, and 8, there's none of the CSS3 goodness. IE only understands how to apply the background color from the CSS. So we need to include some JavaScript code to add additional functionality for Internet Explorer. This is called progressive enhancement. Thankfully, Jason Johnston has put together some code called CSS3 Pi with Pi as an acronym for Progressive Internet Explorer. The code is contained in an HTC file. An HTC file is Microsoft's non-standard way for allowing developers to apply new behaviors to HTML elements. When you apply dynamic behaviors to elements in this way, it redefines them as components. HTC is short for HTML components. Although the mechanics of HTML components is beyond the scope of this screencast, all you really need to know is that within an HTC file, a component is defined by some special proprietary tags and then some JavaScript code for what is to be applied to the given element. To install CSS3 Pi into your project, all you need to do is download the latest version of CSS3 Pi from CSS3Pi.com. Unzip the archive and move the pi.htc file into your project. In your CSS, include an Internet Explorer-only behavior rule with the URL of pi.htc. Please note that this URL should be from the root of your domain and not relative to the CSS file. If you try to use the relative path, Internet Explorer will fail to apply the desired behavior. To include linear gradients, we need to include a special pi background rule with the gradient we want. Now that we've done that, let's visit our site again in IE 6, 7, and 8, and we'll see our CSS3 is being rendered as we'd like. CSS3 Pi does not cover all of the CSS3 spec. It only covers a few of the new rules, including border radius, box shadow, and linear gradients. To see what else CSS3 Pi is capable of, check out CSS3Pi.com. You'll also see there's a nice CSS3 generator there to try it out yourself in your browser. Thanks for watching! Subscribe to our RSS feed, follow us on Twitter, and please leave any comments, questions, or suggestions for new screencasts in the comments below. If you like our videos, please like us on Facebook and feel free to join the conversation there. See you next time!